Some great news as well. Let's uh, celebrate Trevor Noah. I just read now that he's won an award for the MTV Favorite Presenter or talk show host on television. And this, of course, is, is massive for him. It really is. So well done to him. He really is doing so well. He banged that golden popcorn trophy at the annual movie and TV awards. And uh, in his uh, uh, victory speech, he said, there's one person I aspire to be every single day, and that is my mom, a powerful, strong black woman who never listened when people People told her she couldn't be more. He also went on to thank President Donald Trump for the comedy. So there you go. Well done to our fellow South African, Trevor Noah. Now, here's something that uh, I know all of you are going to be wanting to hear about. Last week, the National Consumer Tribunal handed down judgment against Edcon Holdings Limited that the club fee charged by Edcon to its current or its credit customers is unlawful and in contravention of the National Credit Act. The company owns retail stores such as Edgar's, Jet and CNA and this comes after an investigation by the National Credit Regulator revealed Edcon has charged consumers a club fee on credit agreements. We're joined from our Pretoria studios by Jacqueline Peters, Manager Investigations and Enforcement at the National Credit Regulator to discuss this, uh, this issue. Jacqueline, thank you so much for being with us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. The investigation into this, when did it actually begin? Well, the National Credit Regulator came across this information in 2015. Uh, we had seen through media articles that there were complaints about certain uh, credit retailers and retail stores. And then we found information through various sources that led us to see that there was possibly prohibited conduct taking place. Yeah, and, and just to, to, to understand it, um, the, the, you, you've said that the, the NCR approached Edcon to request an independent audit of their loan book to establish the number of consumers to be refunded and the total amount to be refunded from 2017 to date. Um, I mean, this must be massive. Oh well, yes, I think it will be. Uh, at this stage, we can't really determine the amount, um, and that's why we're calling for the independent audit. This is, came on the back of the judgment where the tribunal actually ruled in our favor as the regulator and agreed with our stance that the club fee was a prohibited charge, and therefore the regulator is going to persist that there is an audit and uh, go forward with a uh, a hearing on the quantum of the fine. Yeah. So let's let's understand it now because, um, I, in fact, I, I actually giggled at this because I remember many, many, many years ago when I uh, I did have an account and I would always look at it and uh, I sort of was, you know, number crunching at the end of the month and kind of looked and said, now, but why is, do I have a Edgar's account this much when I'm actually, I haven't even spent on it? And then you see that every month this magazine is being uh, added onto my account that I have to pay for and if I default on these payments I of course am then getting into trouble I didn't even realize because I wasn't using my account and that tended that was a big problem and then I actually approached them cancelled that magazine su subscription which I never applied for in the first place is that the problem that um, customers or consumers are not actually applying for this magazine that they now have to pay for just because they have an account Well, no, Leanne, that's not um, what was argued at the tribunal. I think Edcon's stance was that it formed part of the credit agreement, but it, it was a tick box. So when you're applying, there's a tick box to say, would you like to form part of our um, club? And then there'd be a yes or a no. So I think that's the problem. Mm -hmm. When we're entering into the agreement, there is um, a you know, plethora of documents that are given to you as a consumer and you're just ticking yes or no and uh, that causes the problem at the end of the day. And that was exactly the argument that the tribunal raised to say the intention of this National Credit Act was to make sure that consumers fully understand what the fees and charges are related to the credit agreement. Yeah. And the argument that was advanced is exactly what you are raising by the regulator to say, if a consumer no longer wants to continue with the club, or if the consumer is saying, I only have 170 Rand, is that going to get apportioned fully to the credit agreement, or is it going to be apportioned partially to a club fee? 
that they are not really sure they even want to be a part of. Yeah. And is this club fee explained properly? Uh, what, one thing I have to say is that we are going to get the right of reply to EdCon. I think that's going to be happening tomorrow. So we will give them an opportunity to explain. But did you find that with a lot of consumers is that this fee, this, this club fee that was added on was never accurately explained? Or I is that what consumers were complaining about as well? I think after the judgment has come out, this is what we are hearing from consumers. And uh, that's why we believe that it is a victory on behalf of consumers. Uh, as the regulator, we really did just stick to the letter of the law. Did the law allow for this fee? Uh, we believe that the law did not, and the tribunal agreed with us. The Act is very specific and has a closed list of fees. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so this is where the regulator uh, found the contravention. Are you allowed to charge a fee that the Act does not uh, prescribe? No, you are not. And so there's many other retailers um, and credit providers that need to uh, follow this judgment and um, make sure that the credit agreements are in line with what the Act has uh, prescribed. Let's just read what Edcon actually said with, uh, with their reply to this. They were saying in a statement, it is always contended that the club product is a standalone product which entitles voluntary signed up members to a number of benefits including preferential rates and savings with many of our affinity partners, uh, close quote, that's what they had to say. Was this contrary to what your uh, investigations found? I think um, what the regulator said and what the tribunal said was um, there was no purpose or no um, real uh, requirement in the Act that says that what you're selling to me is uh, something that I'm going to receive a benefit from. So Edcon persisted with the argument that this constituted a purchase of benefits and that it was uh, being debited through the credit agreement and that it was an advancement or in advancement of the consumer. And as the regulator, we said you were not entitled to charge this fee uh, through the credit facility. Uh, and so whether or not it uh, gives consumers a benefit, it forms part of the credit agreement and you are not allowed to charge it. Yeah, yeah. Let me just ask you, I mean, th I, I imagine Edcon are not alone in doing this because, you know, you'll find that this has become common practice and that the, the concept of a club product um, is well established practice globally and there must be other retailers in South Africa that are doing the same thing. Could this have a repercussion on what they do and how they practice business and these, these uh, the so-called um, uh, benefits that you get from them? I would believe so. Uh, the regulator has already picked up a few other um, retailers that were charging the club and ha we've already referred them to the okay. tribunal for uh, arguments on the exactly the same. But I mean, we are not against loyalty programs per se. It's just that that fee should not form part of your credit agreement. Uh, and there's also many other companies that give you loyalty without charging you a fee. So I think uh, on the back of this judgment, retailers would need to go back, look at their business model and see how they could uh, still persist with this uh, club without contravening the National Credit Act. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you for talking to us here on the program. So we're talking the Edcon Club fee. Um, that was something that we uh, we watching quite closely. And also we have got, of course, Edcon coming in to explain their point of view and hopefully uh, get a, a great definition from them as to what they mean by this. Uh, Jacqueline Peters is the Manager of Investigations and Enforcement at the NCR. Quick break. Headlines after this.